Yeah, okay. Let me know when we're live. What? What? Ah, oh, Jim. Jeremiah Steele here, reporting to you live from the MTG headquarters news desk with some late breaking news. We have all 30 of the beautiful Kaladesh masterpieces spoiled for you. After spending hours scouring the internet and right-clicking and save as, I have discovered all of the original beautiful art. Now, I know it's going to be hard to stop looking deeply into my eyes. But let's give these cards the treatment they deserve. Let's get a look at the art. Let's start off with Aether Vial. We don't really know what these are going to cost just yet, but let's just take a look at them. So we have Aether Vial. Again, if you don't know what the masterpieces are, make sure you check out the previous video when I explain in depth everything you can expect. TLDR, you can play them in any format which you open them or they are currently legal. So the answer is if it's not standard legal now, it's not standard legal in a masterpiece. Here we go, Aether Vial, beautiful. What do we have next? Just what do we have next? What do you guys think it is? Could it be... Cataclysmic Gear Hulk? God, this is just a, a beautiful card. Champion's Helm. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. Chromatic Lantern. Now, I don't want to talk to I mean remember these are all going to be foil too so there is definitely some hits and there are going to be some misses one thing we do know for sure EDH players are about to be strapped for cash here we have oh no we have chrome Mox. beautiful I, I mean I could just they nailed it say what you want about the border I'm not sure uh, how you, everyone feels about the border, but the art. Cloudstone Curio. And then we have Combustible Gear Hulk. So all of the Gear Hulks, by the way, this card, watch out for this card. Six mana, six, six, but it also, when it comes into play, target opponent may have you draw three cards if the player does not put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. Then Combustible Gear Hulk deals damage to that player equal to the total converted mana cost of those cards. I mean, what if you're playing Emrakul? That's 13 damage right there, right? Pretty spicy. Beautiful, beautiful Crucible of Worlds. These are going to be a must-have for anybody into pimping out their deck. Gauntlet of Power. Then, we have Hanger Back Walker. This card, I think, looks the best in the extended frame here. This card just really, really looks amazing. Lightning Greaves. Every EDH player is going to want the Greaves. Give that creature haste and shroud. Lotus Petal. Now remember, if you open any of these cards in draft or a sealed format, you can play them. Mana Crypt. Now this one is a big hitter. Zero mana at the beginning of your upkeep. Flip a coin. If you lose a flip, Mana Crypt deals three damage to you. However, for zero mana, you get two hit <laughs> Ramp City. Oh, Mana Crypt not enough? How about Mana Vault? Here we have a one mana... It doesn't untap during your untap step, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay four if you do untap it. At the beginning of your draw step, if mana vault is tapped, it deals one damage to you. Tap, get three colorless mana. Man, this, these cards, mana vault, they're just all so good. Now we have Mind's Eye. Five mana. Whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one if you do draw a card. Seems good, right? Oh, not good enough. How about a Mox Opal? Ah, just so, so nice. Now we have another Gear Hulk, the Noxious Gear Hulk. 
Now it's going to depend which one of these Gearhawks really hit. I mean, certainly they will all be played in some format or another, most likely, and they will all be casual favorites. But if you're lucky enough to open one of these, <laughs> and you open something like Mana Crypt or Mana Vault, just think there's someone somewhere beating the odds and getting a Noxious Gearhulk. Just saying. Oh, Painter Servant, anyone? Choose the color all cards that aren't on the battlefield spells and permanents are the chosen color in addition to their other colors. Powerful card. Rings of Bright Hearth. Three mana whenever you activate an ability. If it isn't a mana ability, you may pay two. If you do copy that ability, you may choose new targets for that copy. Scroll Rack. Beautiful, beautiful card. Sculpting Steel. Again, any one of these beautiful cards would be... I would be extremely happy to pull. Here we have Solemn Simul Simulacrum. Oh, who wants a Soul Ring? Just about every EDH player on the planet is going to want this copy of Soul Ring. This has got to rate up there with probably like an Alpha or Beta Soul Ring, in my opinion. What do you guys think, guys and gals? Not enough for you? How about a Static Orb? Beautiful. Every, every one of these, these cards are just... I've never seen a Magic card look like this before. How about Steel Overseer? We still have more cards to spoil here. Then we have, oh, Sword of Feast and Famine. Just mind-blowing. Don't like that sword. How about a Sword of Fire and Ice? No? Not a Fire and Ice fan? How about Light and Shadow? Kaladesh. Kaladesh is officially... If you look at the timeline of Magic the Gathering, this set is going to be an important, important set going forward. Now we have Torrential Gear Hulk. And finally, Verdurious Gear Hulk. So the Gear Hulks are, in a way, kind of like the titans of this new set. Getting them in these beautiful arts. So these will be standard legal. If they're in the Kaladesh base set, you can play with these. If you're playing draft or sealed, you can play with any of these cards. Imagine opening up, oh, I don't know, Mana Crypt in your next sealed event. Or how about Soul Ring? <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I just, I, I'm... I'm so happy. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's scoop. I will go back to growing my beard. I want to hear what all of you have to say in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. Jeremiah Steele, out. What's up, and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here, where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.